I wasn't able to. I didn't. I wasn't able to find a lot about um, context-aware recommender systems. So I'm making this short video about what I found uh, on the topic, and hopefully it's uh, helpful to some of you. So when when we talk about context-aware recommend recommendation systems, it's first of all it's important to understand what is context. And now some people have defined it as. Um, for example, B-Shilt and M-Timer, they have defined it as a location or identity of people and objects in close surrounding. Now, I feel like this is, a, is, is not the best definition of context because if you think about time as a contextual information, then, you know, this definition doesn't really cover time. Um, so I felt, I felt like perhaps the, the better um, definition would be the set of circumstances or fact that surround a particular event, situation, etc. And I took this definition from dictionary.com. And if we're talking about recommendation systems, it would be this: the set of circumstances or facts that surround the viewing of a, of a video or the rating given to an item or, you know, so the circumstances of, of this particular event. Right, so, so in that sense, a context to where recommendation system is a, is a recommendation system that takes context uh, that accounts for the context of um, of, of what's being done All right so here's some examples of some uh, examples of contextual information so there's a uh, time of day could be an example location group interests weight if you're running a recommendation system based on people's weight for some reason, mood, size of thumb. So th there's a lot of different contextual information that you could add to, uh, uh, to a context-aware recommendation system. Right, so cars or context-aware recommendation systems, they've been shown to outperform non-contextual systems. And the companies such as Netflix they've reported that the performance of their recommendation systems have increased by 5% uh, since the use of, uh, since implementing contextual, uh, um, contextual information. So this just shows how the, the value of, of adding context to your recommendation system. So how can the information be collected? Well, we, collect, we can collect it uh, implicitly without uh, asking people by either taking their GPS coordinates or uh, from their phones or perhaps getting their their location through their IP address or um, just knowing the time zone that they're in, for example, for thinking about time as a context. They can be collected explicitly, so we can ask them about the context, you know, what what um, what do you weigh or what day is it today is, would be a, a terrible example but just some examples of how you could gather it explicitly but they can also be inferred through you know through statistical knowledge so you can infer that somebody is uh, um, that somebody weighs something based on some other numbers right so these are the three ways you can collect contextual information. Um, so there's there's three ways in which you can apply uh, you know contextual information in, in some sort of uh, uh, in your recommendation system. One of them is the contextual pre-filtering where you filter out the content which is out of context before making any recommendation algorithms. So this is this is pretty simple. You you remove everything that is out of context, and then you apply your recommendation algorithms afterwards. Right? A different approach would be where you do a contextual post filtering, um, and just ignore the text. The text here, but uh, contextual post filtering is when you perform the filtering, where you filter out the topics or the the events, the videos, whatever it is um, that is out of context afterwards um, and then there's contextual modeling um, where you where 
were you were you able to predict people's uh, ratings or whether they like a movie or not based on this uh, spe specific context? So now we're not thinking about just filtering in and out. Now we're thinking about uh, can we use the context to predict anything about the user's behavior? Um, so which one of these is best? So there's there's been some research about this and and uh, this guy called Paniello et al. He came up. He came to the conclusion that there is there isn't a single one that outperforms the other. Um, they're just built for different approaches. And while post filtering and contextual modeling have shown you know higher accuracy, pre filtering had more diversity. So the selection of the of the approach depends on on the needs of the service. So I think this is this is what I um, this is what I had for for this video. I doubt it'll be useful for anyone, but uh, it's out here in case uh, in case anyone wants to uh, check it out.